Hurricane warnings are up from Florida to Louisiana. Already, Tropical Storm Nate has dumped up to 20 inches of rain, causing flooding like this. It has killed 22 people there. And 10 weather meteorologist Bobby Deskins has been tracking this. And Bobby, what can we expect? here in Tampa Bay. Well, the main thing we're going to get out of this is higher tide levels than anything else, some increased surf and some rip currents at the beach. That's about it. We're going to be warm. We're muggy already out there. Take a look at the 5 p.m. numbers. Just came out. 60 mile per hour winds. There's Cozumel, uh, Cancun right in this area here, the Yucatan Peninsula. There's Cuba right there. The storm is starting to strengthen a little bit. Should continue to do that. And it is going to move off further to the north and the northwest as we get going into tonight. Basically north, northwest than anything else. Uh, and you can see that it's going to continue to move off in that direction into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's there that we're actually going to get it to strengthen a little bit. I think eventually what will happen is this will become a tropical storm, almost a hurricane. So by Saturday at 2 p.m., it's just below hurricane strength. It looks like it's likely to get to hurricane strength right before landfall late Saturday night. This is 2 a.m. Sunday morning, so it's Saturday night into early Sunday morning that it makes landfall. And you can see this stays well to the rest, west of us. In fact, the forecast models are pretty much well in agreement that it does head up towards the New Orleans area and then up across and, and west of the mountains until it gets up towards the mid-Atlantic states. So that's actually good news for us. But because of this warm and muggy flow on the south side, we'll have a few extra showers. Some of those will be heavy. And then as the storm itself moves right up in the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to push some water our way. We already have high tides now. They're going to get higher. I'll talk about it in my full forecast.